He said, Light, come at me up here. You can take the game right now. You can take the set. But instead, turn it into his favor. But now we're seeing Light doing the same. He's going to try to pin Cosmos on that ledge. The grab. Oh, Cosmos whipping, swinging both ways. Can't find Light. That's West smart. or East, couldn't find him. Yeah, I don't think he, uh, I think he went for jab only because he felt like he probably wouldn't have had enough time to turn around and actually go for a back throw. He probably figured the jab was probably his best option in terms of covering himself. 109%, the swig of water comes up like you talked about. It's go time. Huge situation for Cosmos. He just needs to win neutral once and toss light upstage, and he has an opportunity to take the game. Oh, that was supposed to be another short hop in there. Text and Blaze gets the rapid jab. Holy. I told you, man, because wow. his back was to the ledge, so he moves a lot less. Look, that is a drenched box right now. This is actually scary for light. He just took a ton of damage from that. 46, and 46 to 61. That is indeed. Okay, 79 is counting up. He's racking it back here. Oh. There's 96. There's the fort. No. He went up. He oh. went all the way up there. Oh. Are you kidding me? Light. There's the splat bomb. Okay, he's not precise with the gat like that. Oh, but he goes deep. Panda Global's very own Cosmos with the pop off. A well deserved two. Let him. Oh, don't knock the Red Bull over, though. Don't knock the Red Bull over. Did that, it, did that really just happen, Hazmat? We got the default skin, too. Oh, wow. I wonder if that was on purpose or not. That might mess, dude. That's. I mean, that's a very different looking color, you know? Maybe it's the back. Maybe <laughs> it wants to blend in with the background more a little bit. A lot of now. players do do that, but, you know, you're painted the whole time. Yeah, it's true, yeah. That's I was almost trying to. Shiny Samus. <laughs> trying to get rid of this camouflage that, that uh, Samus got going on. Oh, I guess the roller cancel so it to up air. Oh, yeah. Cosmo's looking like he has the momentum on his side here. Just the run up grab, getting that extra percent. No matching out of that grab, so he's going to take that for free. Uh oh. Still hasn't even taken a percent yet. Oh, oh gets rolling, and that's a see ya and a zero to death from Cosmos. Like, all right, this is what happens when you take me to a game three. Yeah, you saw him get up on the edge and roll, and Cosmos just had so much time to react and turn around. And be like, I can do anything here, man. You're still in that roll, you're still in that roll animation. The back air into grab, using these platforms self extend him, but he's not going to go down below where he's going to get hit by that down air. Instead, he's going to take up that extra percent from the jab again. Honestly, what's going on here is that Cosmos is jumping way less, and Dink is not really able to contest Cosmos whenever he goes. Oh, to say that down here, it's a screw attack again. Not yeah. going to be able to do much. Still quite a bit behind the Super Missile Launch Shield will be punishable. Oof. And again, Sam is heavy, floaty. Just enough for that up air to work a little bit down there, down throw the up air to work a little bit longer than usual. And Cosmos being at a pretty high percent, not allowing Dink to get the grab follow up air. Yeah, we see we see Dank missing a lot of stuff that he wasn't missing in the game number one. A lot of throws, sorry, a lot of grab attempts are being are being whiffed. A lot of uh, up bees are being whiffed. Oh, the jab! I, I love. I really like how Acosta has been playing real quick, just with his movement, just not trying to overcommit. Instead, just waiting to see where Dank is gonna land. Instead, there's a down air into up air. Oh Ooh, my, okay. I like the attempt right there, one. I had to. He's, he, you know, he wanted to go for something flashy, but he's like, you know what, I'll just go for the grounded roller option and make sure you are out of here with my forward smash. I think it's wild how different game number two and three looked uh, compared to game number one. I, mean, I must have been his hands been cold or something, man, because he was looking, he was just getting hit by a lot. Very, very reminiscent of Diddy Kong, we'll do a lot of damage. Oh, oh I was gonna my say. gosh. I saw the tweet, I saw the tweet earlier. Someone charging a, a smash attack, let me fall into it. That's exactly what just happened. <laughs> it's, it, you know, you hate to see that kind of thing happen, but you can't even say you have it in yourself. DC, I swear on everything that just before Nairo did that, I was going to say he's playing such a high knockback Ooh. character in Lucina. He could very easily Ooh. make this one back. No jump from Cosmos, but he slipped back down to the ground. Again, these neutral air dodges, directional air dodges, both serious money makers for him. Oh, but Nairo! So ambitious. Oh my, this, the momentum, the momentum. Nairo looking and feeling confident. Cosmos not out. This is it. Wow! Oh. The forward hitbox of up smash. I'm sorry, but up air. Will. Oh my goodness. And there goes the battle. The confidence. The throw out the up air. I think this is the matchup for it. Jesus. <laughs> just slap him. As a giant paintbrush just pulled out of nowhere. So here we go, Fatality gonna try to get it started with that down. I think he tried to up air, accidentally uh, put in a jump cancel up smash. Yeah, there's a spike. Okay. Good cover, I like that. Nice air dodge. Oh no, he got clipped. Wow. And again, yeah, if you're off stage, it's over. Even you the up will get you. Up yep. Oh my gosh. It felt like he dodged the rest of it. It didn't matter. Nope. Telling you it's a nightmare matchup, dude. It's, it's, it's really bad.
<laughs> it's so hard to hit Inkling, too. Like, it's, Yeah, I mean, that's always the problem. It's the Falcon in, like, all the games, because he's he uses aerials a lot, yeah. but the aerials have startup. And so hitting short characters of people who are low to the ground can always be tough for him. And of Goodbye. course the edge guards, yeah. All right, he was almost done. Yeah, we're just gonna get him all the way well, up like, there. Like, even the chance where you get back, you're getting ledge trapped. Soft hit and, fair. Yep. Yeah, they're soft hit fair. You're getting either ledge trapped or you took 60% trying to get back. Yeah, it's uh, it's bad. And I think Cosmos has uh, kind of found his groove. Yeah. The first stock of the first game was a lovely showcase, and I'm sure Fatality appreciates the clip. But, up there uh, combos also. Good God. We didn't what? mention that. The way, no. you know. <laughs> yeah, Falcon <laughs> fastball. Yeah, like, it doesn't help. <laughs> yeah. Cosmos keeps uh, knowing that Fatality's got a normal get up, but he keeps a slightly misspacing grab. And this, too, you can't threaten Inkling off stage because they can recover from so deep as Falcon. You're not going out there. Yeah, you can't edge guard them back. A lot of ink on it, but honestly, that much ink and 20% for the stock, I'll take it. So. Yeah. We also saw Trim being utilized, which we don't see too much in this game compared Whoa. to the first. Whoa, what happened to Dark Wizzy, though? Jeez, already at 82%. Cosmos, I need you to calm down. Nice little conversions from Cosmos. He gets the rapid jab once again. Oh, and wow. what a call out the down smash. Cosmos will take it 3-1 over Dark Wizzy. Wow. I mean, Wizzy still not out, though. Okay, it's winners. Yep. Nice. Yes. I mean, sorry, no bias. <laughs> it looks like Ma the Mario there got a forward air off stage. I feel completely neutral about this. <laughs> that was All a right, really good platform grab. combo for Master Mario. But I, I don't know why. Even though like it looks like Master Mario is playing insanely. Oh, good. he went too deep. He faded back too Damn. far, man. Never mind. I was gonna say like Master Mario is playing so good, but I feel like Cosmos like has the momentum. Ooh. That was Back throw. That was close, but not enough. Cosmos is off stage here, though. We've seen how much pressure Master Mario is able to build, and he just gets nothing there. Big back air, combo, back air, triple so back. Many back oh my airs. god! I think if he got that last back air, he was dead without a jump. Wait, Cosmos going for the. The insane edge guard to close it out. Uh, oh my god. Okay, pressures with Wait. the back air. Oh, gets him with an air there. Wait a Good minute. Stuff. Catches the jump. Okay, we'll both on my thread here. Oh, this that is back the closest air is so safe. set has ever been. Can Master Mario close it out? And he get his first game off of Cosmos tonight. Okay, this trading so back airs. They're going back to center stage. Back throw. Okay, Mario oh. off stage. Oh my goes god, deep what a and deep closes it edge out. 3 0 Cosmos. After every strong start from Master Mario, it looked like he was winning those games. Like, those were ga him ga his games to win. Cosmos says, no, I'm winning this tournament. I want a better enough that I'll win the game. I, d I don't care. Uh, I think he would care if he was fighting like a Bowser or something, yeah. but fighting Inkling is fine. But Cosmos landing that up throw up air, kind of ironic considering Wishes was one of the guys that really pioneered that technique and yes. now falling to it. Double up air into a neutral air, double neutral air. Wishes jumping out, getting so much Arsene for this, but taking so much damage as well. Hey, okay. here we go. Wait a minute. It's Arsene time. 52%. That could on the ledge. You never know what's what's going to be. Cosmos seems like he's taking complete control all of a sudden, but there is our scent. Got about a third left on the meter here. I feel like Cosmos could have force smashed him, but he's going to get the throw up air. Not going to do the job, and Arsen is gone though. Yeah, I think he's out of up throw up air range now, if I'm not mistaken, just because that last one did not KO. So Cosmos is going to have to figure it out the hard way. This can be difficult, but I feel like a back air off stage here will do it. He does not jump from ledge. He gets the weak hit. 154. Tries to go high. Tries to predict the recovery. That's what the up B was about. Yep. Doesn't happen. Tries to go for the forward smash. Might be forcing it. Cosmos might be giving this away. Oh, oh, oh Speaking man. Speaking of giving it away, though, Wish is going crazy on that forward smash. Cosmos knowing the exact distance to get that up smash pull in. Yeah, I, if you'd asked me, I would have said nobody's going to punch that. Cosmos yes. said, wait a minute, I got you. I yeah. just, barely, just barely got in there. Yeah. Perfect timing by Cosmos there. Yeah, very tip of it. Like